Hey, we're live from South by Southwest. This is Jade enjoying the lovely weather. And uh, we have been stumbling upon quite a number of local musicians. And we're lucky enough to have Johnny from Communist Daughter here with us right now. Really, really into it. Hang loose, that's our new thing. <laughs> Hang loose. And that's what we're doing today. We're just hanging out, enjoying uh, some of this beautiful weather. And uh, so you are just wrapping up a giant tour, right? Yeah, we've been on the road. Well, our record came out uh, basically the end of October, and we took December off. But other than that, we've just been on the road. Yeah, so I, I'm always curious, uh, you know, trying to do a tour while being sober, how, how is that for you? How has it been on this tour? Ooh, it gets it gets rough in places. Um, you know, like a lot of the festival things are really hard because that's when everybody's like, kegs and eggs, let's do this, 8 a.m., let's drink. Well, that's South by Southwest in general. It's like, <laughs> yeah. welcome to our party here Yeah, the Facebook first thing beer. they did was give me a bunch of drink tickets, and all they had was water for non-drinkers. So I got cranky until I found a place that gave me an avocado for free across the street. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm glad we have you here. Yeah. Um, so South by Southwest, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those festivals that's changed quite a bit in the last, you know, number of years that it's been going on. Uh, why do you think South by Southwest still matters? Uh, you know, I, I, I've been talking about this, like, I think that it's it's gone beyond the fact like there used to be a thing where bands would come down here and it'd be industry and you'd like you know there was this like hey go down there and get signed or whatever yeah. i don't know where that came from but slowly i think it's turned into a thing where it's like you unless you are in a certain city and you go to every show you're gonna not be able to see all the your favorite bands and so this is a place where it's like everybody gets together for four days and all of your favorite bands are here. And if you just play it right, you can see them all yeah. by paying one thing and stumbling around and stumbling into music. Yeah. I mean, even even here where we are, I, it's like uh, I saw you guys hanging out with the guys from Temples uh, making your own vinyl records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're they're making it on plates. Did you get to have yours done? Uh, we're getting ours after we get done playing. I don't know where to put it if I'm going to get on stage and thrash around a little bit. So Yeah, if you go over to current.org, we've got uh, an entire article about how they're making a record of Communist Daughter on a, a plastic plate. It's kind of cool. So Right next to the guys from Temples. Yeah, you can head over there, but not yet. Uh, we got a game that I want to play with you while we have you here. Uh, we got our game headsets on. <laughs> yeah. We'll, g we'll give you a play-by-play -play of it. Okay, so pick three, and then put them in my hand. Two. One more. Three. Oh, uh -oh. oh wow, that was three in one. There. Yeah. You, got it. You almost got yourself a lot more questions yeah. than you wanted. Yeah. All right, let's try number one. All right, that's a question that I already asked you, so we're going to skip that one. Oh, okay. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner taco? Oh, Lunch. Totally. All right. Why? Why um, is that the ideal taco time? Because you don't want to be weighed down with food at lunchtime. So tacos, you know, they're like light and to go. You can carry them in your hand. I like um, this. What's your What's your favorite kind of taco? If you're doing your taco order. Pastor. Ooh. Yeah. Are you a spicy person? Do you put all the salsas oh, on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the spiciest. You know, all right. The hottest of the hot. I think you and I are we're taco buddies. We could definitely do that. All right, let's get this other guy here. Ooh, a word that describes your current mental state. Frazzled. <laughs> I feel like that's South by Southwest in a nutshell. Is yeah. people just running around slightly frazzled? Just need to have a name badge that says that, so people know like to approach me with caution at the moment. You should just have a bunch of different faces on the shirt and, and just, just like circle to. whichever one. Yeah. What is your current <laughs> mental state? Yeah. Frazzled. Uh, so the last question we're asking everybody, and this is great because you're a, a local person. Uh, you know, we're coming up on the one-year anniversary of Prince's death. And, uh, you know, is there, in this past year, has there been a moment of reflection or a story or uh, some musical moment with Prince that you've, you've had in your life? You know, like the thing that I, I kind of reflected on, when he died, I was actually out of town because we're always out of town. And so it was really great to see the the whole 
city come together and it was like this huge national story and it's like well it just made sense that everybody in Minneapolis would go down to First Ave and and you know dance yeah. and sing and and uh, but I like reflected on my own thing I grew up in Missouri and I remember hearing Prince for the first time I heard Kiss and and I remember having this like cognitive dissonance of like like I was hearing this amazing sexy you know female vocals or yeah. something and then finding out that it's this guy who's amazing and sexy and it was like I'm too young to understand <laughs> and it was like I love this I don't know what's going on it was amazing yeah he he did you know has that ability to be uh, both sexual and masculine and feminine. It was one of those people, I think, that allowed you to be whoever you wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. Was it was a, it was an eye-opening experience for a young boy in uh, Missouri. <laughs> to be opened up. Yeah. Uh, well, we're live from South by Southwest with Johnny from Communist Daughter. Thank you so much for listening. We'll have more uh, over at The Current's Facebook page, and you can catch up over at thecurrent.org.